Joker movie. A lot of anticipation, a lot of questions. Will it live up to the hype? Will Joaquin Phoenix surpass Heath Ledger's portrayal of the character? Will it be completely distinct from the Batman franchise? But the biggest question of them all, will some loser incel go on a mass shooting rampage? What? Shooting threat at Joker movie premiere spurs warning from Army Criminal Investigation Command. Fears of incel mass shooter at Joker opening weekend put cops across the country on high alert as NYPD plans undercover detachments and cinemas ban masks and costumes. How pathetically fearful and hysterical has America become when people live in abject fear of going to see a movie? Oh my god, did he come to the Joker screening alone? Where the fuck is his girlfriend? What if he has a gun? Call the police! Excuse me, sir. Yes, you in aisle C, seat four. Where is your girlfriend? We've already checked the lobby and the bathroom, sir. Please leave the Joker premiere immediately. That's not to say it won't happen. Given how much the media has been begging for it to happen, promising the would-be shooter all the fame and notoriety any atomized loner would crave. Oh man, you guys, wouldn't it be bad if someone shot up the Joker movie? What a horrible tragedy it would be if somebody went and shot up the Joker movie. The experts agree it's highly likely that somebody is gonna shoot up the Joker movie. Stay safe everyone, we don't want anybody to get hurt when somebody shoots up the Joker movie. Please shoot up the damn Joker movie, we need those clicks. Once again, the media is dangling the bait. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Blaming any violence on the Joker movie is as stupid as blaming Columbine on Marilyn Manson. A person is motivated to mass kill by a lifetime of resentment dysfunctionality, mental illness, and evil. Not because they saw Joaquin Phoenix doing a mad dance in a movie trailer. Were the Beatles to blame for the Manson murders? Was J.D. Salinger to blame for John Lennon's assassination? Victims of the James Holmes Dark Knight Rises shooting wrote a letter to Warner Brothers expressing their concerns about the Joker. Yet Holmes never made any reference to the Joker during or after his shooting. This was a false rumor spread by inaccurate press reports. Also, the the Joker character doesn't even appear in The Dark Knight Rises, yet the theater at which James Holmes carried out his completely Joker unrelated shooting is not gonna show the Joker movie. Some of the same people who laughed at Trump for blaming shootings on video games and movies are saying this movie is gonna cause shootings because it fits their political narrative. You can't have it both ways. The Joker character has been around for 80 years. I don't recall waves of neckbeards going postal in 1989 because they were radicalized by Jack Nicholson. <laughs> So why all the hysteria now? Because over the past decade, the culture has relentlessly shit on young white men. Told them they're inherently bad. Told them that the obscure communities in which they foster friendships are inherently bad. Told them that they must atone for the sins of their ancestors committed hundreds of years before they were even born. Told them they were pathetic, atomized incel losers with no hope. They did this for years then acted all surprised that some young white men responded with anger and violence. You created this monster, you're Dr. Frankenstein. White men need to stop being repressed and start honestly expressing their emotions. We're deeply frustrated by a society that constantly seems to be emasculating and undermining us while delegitimizing any complaints we have because of privileges that do nothing to reduce the frustration of living in an isolating, sedentary and self-destructive culture increasingly devoid of age-old sources of happiness like community religion, national identity, and family. No, not like that, fragile bigots. SMH, I bet you have small dicks. So out of all the hostility in the culture directed towards them, these young white men find one character in one movie who they can identify with. A character who inhibits their nihilistic, atomized helplessness. And then the culture tells them, that's a terrible thing too. They can't even enjoy this movie without being treated like they're gonna shoot up the theater. That Warner Brothers is inciting incel terror simply for releasing it. If you're constantly reminding them that they're angry, violent losers, then depriving them of communities and spaces where they can try and work out their issues, what do you think's gonna happen? Let's not blacklist, berate, or blame them. Let's talk to them. Let's listen. Let's try and help them become better people. And if allowing them to enjoy a movie without breaking out in some hysteria hysterical moral panic helps in that process, then where's the harm? <laughs> the Joker movie was also born out of the entertainment industry's obsession with political correctness. In an interview with Vanity Fair, director Todd Phillips said he had to stop making satirical movies because wokeness is killing comedy. Go try to be funny nowadays with this woke culture, said Phillips. There were articles written about why comedies don't work anymore. I'll tell you why, because all the fucking funny guys are like, 
fuck this shit because I don't want to offend you. It's hard to argue with 30 million people on Twitter. You just can't do it right. So you just go, I'm out. I'm out. As soon as Phillips called out the woke Twitter outrage mob, he began trending on Twitter and was savaged by the woke Twitter outrage mob, thereby proving his entire point. I mean, when even Mahatma Gandhi is being cancelled because of the equivalent of his old tweets, is anyone truly safe? Why so serious? Todd Phillips was forced to switch to serious projects because he was right. Woke millennials have ruined comedy. Millennials have cancelled humour. You can't make any jokes anymore without being called bigoted. Millennials, Berber with a side of chess. Seven thousand likes. McDonald's alone has had me like this for like five minutes. <laughs> My this is doing numbers follow up is respect asexual and non binary people or end up feasting on mine own ass butt. That's millennial comedy. That's what we've got to look forward to. Let's hope there's no violence at any of the Joker screenings over the next few days. But God forbid if there is, the root causes and the responsibility runs far deeper than just a movie. <laughs> It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.